Connell a fifth clean sheet in a row at Meadow Lane and the 2-0 victory. Same as it was on Tuesday night, can't get much better for a centre-half. Well, no, like you say, as centre-halves, we look to obviously keep clean sheets and let the forward lads and the lads with a bit more ability uh, <laughs> score the goals. So, uh, But yeah, no, like you say, we've had, I think that's five clean sheets on the bounce now, so it's, uh, it's something that we want to look after as a record at home. And like you say, we want to make this place somewhere really tough to come and uh, where teams already are beaten before the whistle goes, you know what I mean? Did you have it in mind then going into the game as one of the, the back four, back five, including the goalkeeper, mm -hmm. that you had kept a few clean sheets here of late? Well, yeah, like you say, it is a back five because obviously Sam's made some you know great saves over the last couple of weeks, you know what I mean? So we all you know, we chip in and, and do do our jobs. But uh, like you say, it's just something that you you like to build on. You've got something to you protect and, and look after. So I think uh, just keeping clean sheets at home, we're, we're good for a goal. Do you know what I mean? I think there's only one game we haven't scored a goal in. So if we can keep clean sheets, you know, we won't go far wrong. Do you have faith then in your in your players further up the pitch? You know, you, you called them the what did you say? More, more ability, yeah. I think more ability at what? Um, but do you have faith in them that if yeah. you can keep it tight at the back, you will get a goal? Yeah, of course. Like you know, you only got to look at the options that we've got across the you know not just up the front, you know, across the front four and your know, midfield. You know, there's goals everywhere all over the team. So I think as long as we do our jobs at the back, keep a clean sheet, you know, it, it, it sets us in, you know good stead to, to win the game. How have you found it going in there? I mean, you had to play it right. Fullback, I remember mm. earlier in the season, yeah, yeah, but now yeah. finally getting a, yeah. a good run of games in the middle of defence with Ben Turner next year. Well, yeah, like you said, my, my start of the season was a bit stop and start. You know, I had a, a little bit of an niggly injury in my back, and you know, I played right back and come back into centre half, and there was no real partnership being created with anyone really. So, but it's nice to obviously get you know big Ben back and starting to get a few clean sheets together. You know, we we understand each other's game and that. So I think I think we suit each other very well. You come across as quite a formidable pairing. Both of you well over six foot, and yeah. neither of you shrinking violets. You don't duck out of anything. Yeah, well that's what I mean. Like you, you know, you want to you want to put it on teams when they, when they come, especially when you're playing at home. You know, you need to be you know on, on the front foot, winning headers, winning tackles. So it's uh, like you say, if we can win the mental games before the game, then you know the rest will take care of itself on the pitch. Defensively as a unit, what have you been doing differently maybe of late, which is is seen it work so well. Um, I don't know. Uh, I just think, obviously, at the start of the season, we were, we were a very new team. You know, it was kind of a lot of individuals, chuck, you know, chucked together to play in a team. Well, I think now we're all learning each other's strengths, weaknesses. You know, we're all coming, to, you know, towards like you know, a point where we're all working on the same, same, you know, him sheet. So I think that's the most important thing is we're all knowing each other's game now, and I think. You know, when you get to know your teammates as well, I think you try harder for them, you, you know, because you, you've got that respect off the pitch as well as on it. So I think, you know, we're turning into a really good team at the minute. Does it feel like there's more to come or have you kind of clicked now and this is the team that it is or is there even more improvements to come? I've, well, we're always looking to improve. Like, I think there, there will be more improvements. I think, you know, we're, we're looking at, you know, at the minute, you know, putting as many points on the board as possible. You know, I think the gap was 12 points two weeks ago. I think it's down to six now, possibly five. So, you know, we're looking to keep this run of form going. And like you say, the more you play together, the better you get. You know, it's it's, a, it's like a, a well-oiled machine. You know, you know, you keep keep the cogs turning, and if we're all playing well, you know, we'll, we'll only pick up good results. It seemed like there was so much energy out there today as mm. well when you weren't in possession to to harry the the tall key yeah. players. Where's that come from? But it, it's just I think that's the way like a philosophy that we want to play with. You know, we want to play on the front foot. We want to press from the front. You know, you know, as we're defenders, but you know, the front lads can defend and we can attack from the back. It's you know, it's it's a it's a doing it as a team and not individuals. You know, through the line. So. I think you know our philosophy. You know we want to push from the front. We want to be ruthless, and that goes from the first one all the way to the end. Up to fifth in the league now, I believe. Um, yeah. Everybody was very conservative about you know where this club could go this season. Um, but has that changed in recent weeks as, as the form has improved? Um, well, we knew what we had in the changing room, you know, at the start of the season. Um, so, like you say, from the fans looking in, they, you know, you're not too sure where it's going to go. Is it going to go good? Is it going to go bad? But you know, as footballers, and you know, we've got the quality in that change room to, to really push and, and and you know, really put a, like you say, positive results in the table and get us right up there. Now, I think it's five points out of the gap. You know, a bare minimum we were looking for playoffs at the start of the season. You know, but to go on and win it, you know, would be good. But like you say, it's very early in the season. We've got a you know good bit of form and. Long it may to continue. What's it like out there with the fans this afternoon? Plenty of uh, plenty of atmosphere. Yeah, it's great. You know that, that's that's like one of the best things about being a football. You know the atmosphere you get on the pitch. You know, especially after the game when they're all chanting and that. It's it's good. Like you know, that's what you play it for. You know, so uh, like you say, the fans have been fantastic, especially from the first minute I've come in. So like you say, if we can get even more through the gate, it'll only help the lads on the pitch. Thanks for your time, Warren. Well no, thank you. Cheers, mate.